on earth can this be summer like? Look at the state of this. Um, well, this is Operation Tesco anyway, I'm just going to be passing. Straight ahead there over that roundabout, that's Operation Tesco. That's where it might be a good spot to go camping. Um, that's it all in there, as you can see. Um, well, as you mightn't be able to see because of the weather. I'm going to go down to where the old vat ducks are, it's called the Hidden Valley. And have a wee recce around there, this weather is atrocious so it might stay out for long. But it's better getting out than not getting out. And I was just, while I was doing my shopping there, Tesco's I figured out going way back. I've got all my gear on, I've got my grab bag, good to go. And that weather is absolutely atrocious. That's another thing you should do as well when you're out uh, your car. It's just a general good thing to do is have your uh, bug out bag or something similar in your car. Uh, I always carry a, a rucksack with a sleep bag in it. Something to keep you warm in case you get stranded to go off road or something. There. So it has happened and it will happen to people. Um, I always carry first aid kits. See down there, got a few uh, blankets, uh, thermal blankets. Um, got some tourniquets, first aid kit with uh, first feed dressings in it. Just in case I come across an RTA, you know, or an RTC or whatever they're calling it now. Um, Going to get catastrophic bleeds there. Um, so, yeah, not a bad wee thing to have, I don't think. So, uh, I need to go back to Operation Tesco and have a wee look around there. I've told you about the, the wind farms. Um, I haven't really thought up an op name for them. Well, Operation Hidden Valley, I suppose I'll call this one. So, we're in a wee quaint village here. Um, Quite quiet, and we're going to be getting into the countryside shortly. I'll switch you around. That's what I don't get with all these country roads. Why do they put it in outer speed limit? It's a bit silly, isn't it? Maybe this road not so much because it's quite wide. But look at that. This is what it was like. It was worse yesterday when I was down at the wind turbine, the wind farm. It was you couldn't see a thing. Um, this is going to get worse. People are starting to panic there and buying loads of bread and stuff. I've got my flower, I'm sorted, so I need to get somewhere to park. Big enough road to park on the side here. Now oh, really, that's looking like a decent site to camp. Not bad at all. A bit hilly there, but a bit too close to the houses, so I'll find another spot maybe. Bit of break in the fence there, I'm going to have a look. This isn't looking too bad here. I remember all that snow. At least it's cleaning my boots. That river is quite fast flowing, so it should be pretty clean water. Plus, I've got my Sayers water filter. Um, and I've got my Pathfinder bottle, I can boil that and then put it in the water to cool down. So it is doable. Um, however, it's just a bit hilly, that's the only thing about this side, I would say. But I'm sure I'll find somewhere. We'll have a wee look further up here. Now that, that looks promising. That looks very promising. And then also, you've got the nice sound of the river while you sleep, if you camp around here. Hmm. It's flat enough down there. Yeah. We'll just recce from the top. But I'm getting into carrying this uh, satchel bag, my barber uh, game bag. It's pretty good because uh, you can use it uh, obviously when you're out shooting and it's pure class, it just looks class when you're out shooting rather than carrying a day sack. Um, and then it's good for bushcraft as well as you've seen done the wild uh, camp where I used like 1800s sort of style kit and I used this and you can fit a fair bit, a few things in it like you know um, when you pack it right. <whistles> oh this looks cool right here, how about you recce down here? Wow, look at that. It's like a Christmas card.
really like old bandstand down here or something. Um, that's pretty cool. Another piece man-made shelter that you could use in an emergency. Uh, some sort of crow out there as well, gobbling off. Shit! Yep. There's the old graffiti. Some idiots have done to destroy old buildings. Smart move. Oh! I don't know what this used to be, but it's pretty cool. And then again, people ditching the rubbish in here. What's the point? Burning things. It's just not nice, is it? Yeah. Give you shelter out of the elements. You didn't send a dog out in this weather. So I've been going with the old corn cob pipe off late. They're quite cheap, quite a tenner. And then they're pretty much disposable. Once you use it too much, you just bin it. Well, that sucks. So, at least I got a good wee bit of intelligence from uh, my wee walk there. I'm about a potential, get this heater on. About a potential new area. Um, it's not far to walk from HQ, so uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah. Oh well, it's just atrocious. Not nice at all. Right, so back to HQ I think. <laughs> <laughs>